good afternoon everyone so i will be talking on the cisco connected rail which is basically transforming passenger experience and rail operation with secure and reliable connectivity which we talk about mostly on the connect connectivity point of view and the security inbuilt inside the connectivity so two things over here brief agenda brief agenda i will show you on related to the connected rail use cases first i will see some of the use so you some of the use cases which we generally see when we talk about the connected rail scenarios and cisco connected rail architecture how we connect these things and then what are the different type of architecture inside the connected rail architecture and what are the solution we propose in the rail and mass transit solution any very brief way and then the summary i will wrap up on that i hope i will be on the time so keeping on the mind in the time so four use cases i will touch upon one is the safety and compliance when you talk about any kind of train control and communication and the passenger system so safety and compliance is one of the major aspect in the use cases i will touch upon on the networking point of view on that connectivity point of view on that another is the passenger experience very much if we do the passenger better passenger experience then only the passenger will have the more uh, agile to come over here or to ride the basically the public transport data operation and the operational efficiency so while doing the operation operational efficiency is also one of the major aspect benefits so this more elaboration on the four use cases when you talk about the safety and security safety and the compliance it's basically talk about the highly reliable network highly reliable network means like the connectivity when you talk about the communication and control the cbtc or etcs kind of a network uh, where we need a connectivity seamless as well as the mission critical so for that basically if we see today also that rdso is also working on that front like upcoming on the lt uh, ui they have already floated we have also participated on that we doing the trial planning to do that trial on that and not only on the lt other than the lt also i will touch upon on that that other than the lt there are some other technologies on the wireless side which do such kind of uh, connectivity for the railway network another is the video surveillance system for the passenger and the operational safety as well as the video surveillance system when inside the train as well as the station premises as well the third one is the this real time remote asset monitoring it is very much required because the asset monitoring and the maintenance is one of the major aspect for any kind of mission critical operation so that has to be connected to inside the train as well as the in the station premises and the track side and how it is connected whether some kind of ot has to be connected also this iot edge devices is also required for that i'll show up on that when you talk about the passenger experience passenger experience any bad passenger experience is posed to the multifold scenario so passenger experience is the major vital thing for any kind of public transport back in the time when you talk about the now we see the the high class train like rajdhani satabdis and bande bharat and we can see some of the trains in the local trains also is getting better and better the delhi metro is serving a world class service everyone in india talk about delhi metro is one of the best metro we ride and as well as the airport express so this is the passenger experience talks about this is the passenger experience gives more businesses how this if we talk, if we get the more businesses then only this will survive so automatic fare collection system is also another thing which gives a better because if i is sitting in the line standing in the queue then that will not basically give the bad experience so we need those kind of network in the way the passenger experience will give another thing is the operational efficiency so operational efficiency comes when i connect the full track side as well as is the train with a pretty much resilient manner if anything is failure 
that means there is should be some kind of backup or something in the network. So, resiliency is one of the key aspect in any kind of network design and that is required. Obviously, the other thing like the reliable high throughput like when you talk about the video surveillance system inside the coach we need a some kind of a high throughput video surveillance connectivity from the train to track communication and that is not the lt that is some kind of a cisco ultra reliable wireless backhaul we do at the case of any speed we give the guarantee bandwidth guarantee of 500 mbps like train to track communication at any speed and the wayside monitoring also for the predictive and the predictive maintenance, both cases. Another is the data operation. Data operation comes when you do the, on that, when my data is there, so I can do lot of analytics on that and I accordingly, I can do lot of other basically uh, aspect on this part. So then after the use cases, these use cases, how this connected rail architecture, this is the what we think about the connected rail architecture from the train to the track to the ground and then up to the train control center, train operational and control center, how it should be connected in a manner like any kind of resiliency and the security inbuilt inside the network it has to be. Like there are lot of security discussion what is happening, we learn lot of things from the security discussion from the panelists today. But it is not about the security of the network OT, IoT, it is about the inherent property should be inside the OS itself. So whether my OS security is there, whether this is the encryption is there, so those kind of image signing is there. So any device in the network I am putting, it should have the capability of the image signing. Without doing that, uh, the, my software will not boot itself. So that kind of security should be inbuilt inside any kind of devices. So I'll talk upon each of these architecture separately. I have bulleted in the red uh, circle. So first of all, the train to track communication, we have so many ways and means to do the train to track communication. Then there are connected track side. We can do a lot of fiber backhaul and more than that with the Today's network, these uh, all the railway zones are planning that IPMPLS backhaul with segment routing inbuilt for the automation and all in the network. And obviously, the routed optical network is the connectivity between which Railtel is planning in the connectivity between the major sites in the core sites with the 400 gig backhaul, where the capacity is the one of the major aspect, and as well as the cost optimizes solution. And the data center, obviously the security in it. So connected train, so train have some network inside that, I will touch upon that. But beyond, before that itself, there are some kind of connectivity between the train to the track is one of the aspects. So two aspects I have captured over here. One is that LT group for cellular network, 4G or 5G. Another is that wireless broadband access network what we call in our terminology is the Cisco ultra reliable wireless backhaul, which I was talking just before that. 4G, 5G gives us the lot of basically coverage in terms of the distance between the two towers and all these things. But only thing is that when the train is moving in a very high speed, we can see today also we have the 4G connections in Pan, over, uh, Pan India, but get the very little throughput over here. But when we talk about the real time video surveillance system, passenger experience, Wi-Fi inside the train, then we need a high throughput. Then we have to think about the wireless broadband access. The technology we have that from the train to track at any speed, we can provide 500 Mbps or better and it is tested inside the network. This is running a lot of things. I have the basically deployment slide over there. I will talk upon that we have in DMRC as well as we are going to deploy this in the NCRTAC as well. So this is the train network, how it looks like. There are some kind of surveillance cameras. Those should be connected to the ruggedized switch and ruggedized switch means we talk about it's not only the ruggedized, it should be the vibration proof, shock proof 
the connector should be the circular M12 kind of, kind of connector, not the RJ45 connector, although it is an Ethernet switch. That has to be keeping in the mind in any kind of inside the train deployment. So, rolling stock deployment always talk about the ruggedized and the vibration proof shock proof. Access point for the passenger experience as well as some other networking and as well as some kind of edge computing inside the train. So, that is also another aspect we should think about because lot of IoT uh, connectivities are required. So, compute at the edge is also one of the aspect we think about. And there are other than that, there are some passenger informant and other thing. What are the components inside this much elaboration? Passenger cars connected with the switches, and there are gateway. This is my gateway router. I will show. Sorry. So this is the gateway router, and uh, this is the and basically uh, Wi-Fi AP which is I was talking about the high throughput and the antenna the top SARC antenna which is basically on the top rooftop of the engine which communicates with the trackside Wi-Fi with a 400-500 meter or more than that distances between the two AP. This is the router work as a gateway as well as edge computing. Vehicle to ground radio I have talked this is the ruggedized Wi-Fi AP and this is the Ethernet switch. I have these samples in our booth as well. You can see and we can discuss more on these uh, hardware. What are the capabilities detail? How it works basically? It works basically. There is a tower which is track side. There is a AP which is having the connectivity antenna which is uh, on board. So these two is connectivity is basically make before break. Whenever there is a connectivity coming train is moving that the front one before connecting itself or before leaving the back one front one will be getting connected. So that kind of make before break arrangement is there in these kind of wireless technologies. Like we talk about in the case of LTE is the wireless handoff. So over here also we do the wireless handoff with the make and break, make and make before break. So how is the technology? It is just an another wireless. Cisco ultra reliable backhaul which is train to track communication, high throughput 500 Mbps in any speed because today also there is no regular passenger or regu any kind of passenger carrying vehicle does not carry that, that speed basically. So this is tested at that kind of speed, low latency 10 millisecond or below. So 10 millisecond or below any speed means it is basically uh, uh, sorry 10 millisecond or below uh, is basically switching. Basically low latency means I can get a mission critical application with less than 50 millisecond switch over time. Scalability and limited, obviously the bandwidth, bandwidth itself is amazing as of today if we talk about and there is a seamless handoff obviously. This is my slide on the what we do in last 15 years on the rail experience in the globally as well as some of the metros are there. This is not only Cisco, so before Cisco there was a company called Fluidmesh, we, they, they came through the acquisition. So Fluidmesh technology also inbuilt inside the Cisco's technology over here. So since last 15 years, it is the VTS, CVTC and other thing and other signaling like these are the different customer base. We have deployed these technologies in Dhaka Metro, Delhi Metro, NCRTC are coming. And there are multiple metros we are discussing on this technology and as well as other connectivity points which I touched upon. So connected track side or way side, there was a topic that how the connectivity basically track side and way side. Track we can see from there that antenna was there. So that antenna will be backhauled through the fiber to the nearest ruggedized switch and ruggedized switch will be connected towards the, the station switches and from the station switches onward it will be the resiliency through the ring configuration and then obviously the backhaul through the routed optical networking. And all the operation and control center are sitting on the top. Few of the use cases in the connected station, the safety and security, we know that CCTV cameras and other things do need to be connected. 
passenger services and station operation should be there. So this is a kind of a connectivity, station to station connectivity and today if we see that all the railway zones are coming up, in fact DMRC is already deployed with the IPMPLS backhaul with a segment routing inbuilt on that. So basically going from the TDM to the, because traditionally Indian railway networking is, network is basically backhaul through the STM1, STM4, this SDH. But this is a just a not development is happening anything on that technology from the any kind of ITUT development point of view. So globally all the SDH deployment is moving towards IPMPLS. So this IPMPLS technology gives us basically the converged network um, basically platform where I can use those are the different services. RDSO it's a plan and we can do more and more and more than these things. Uh, in uh, today's technology itself. I will touch upon this one. This one is the related to the what are the solution we have and we propose for the metro. Some of the things are we always use in the IT domain, but specific to railways also there are aspects like I will talk about the collaboration part. There are five architecture from the Cisco point of view. First, I will touch the collaboration. We have the IP telephony. Every railway zones are coming up with the train control communication system with the IP telephony requirement. So we have the IP telephony services. We have the video endpoints. So video endpoints and the meeting solution on-prem as well as the cloud meeting solution. WebEx is pretty much popular in the industry since the COVID also, although enterprises are using since long the OEX platform, but we have the on-prem also for the air gap environment, uh, Cisco meeting solution. But the important point over here, the railways through our uh, Railtel as a partner and fueling this growth on these basically uh, video endpoint solution. So majority of the railway zones have this requirement and the using this video endpoint solution, video meeting solution from Railtel data center itself serving. Internet of things, so any kind of IoT devices connecting from the track side train or the station, we have the IoT switches and IoT router gateways portfolio and as well as the age intelligence which I have already talked about. Another is that core networking, obviously when anyone talks about Cisco, we talk about or they talk about the networking. Yes, we are core networking company as well as the other architecture, but core networking when you talk about, I touched upon the track side train as well as the um, uh, uh, control uh, data center networking and everywhere basically. It's not only the tracks, uh, it's not only the basically the any particular domain. When it, when it is the railway scenario that I have shown you that everywhere we have the solution. The data center, when you talk about the data center and the core networking, railways, Indian railways is one of the custom, major customer like Railtel, Cris, they are using our few of the data center portfolio. Core networking, Indian railway is using since long time our IP router as well as switches. Data center infrastructure, the Railtel data center is built upon majority of the Cisco uh, data center infrastructure solution and the security solution. I will touch upon the security, but before doing that, I will just explain one thing that we talk about and Indian Railway is also discussing, we are discussing with Chris also, that lot of things related to the security operation center. What is security operation center? It is basically set of toolkit. It is not a operation center like a network operation center or NOC. It is a set of toolkit which I require to do basically to secure my network, to secure my environment, IT or OT environment. So for that we have few major tools like the XDR which is basically extended uh, threat detection and response services which is the major thing today we require in addition to the endpoint detection and response EDR solutions. We have some OT security appliances as well. 
secure analytics in another thing which is basically real time analytics on the security we can put and we have to see the lot of network behavior and the user behavior things over here and vulnerability management is another aspect is required in terms of the security operation toolkit secure x is basically our cloud based platform where we give the basically the unified view and the incident response of any kind of our security and the third party security uh, deployed inside that particular customer and in addition to that the one important aspect is the cisco as a security company we have an independent security intelligence and the research organization called the talos which is the one of the largest in the world do the basically incident response for cisco and for our customer so i will just do the summary what i discussed one is that train to track train to track means the ground wireless connectivity any combination of bandwidth and obviously the low latency because without low latency that basically my less than 50 millisecond and other thing will not be there so that should be in the kept in the mind seamless wifi seamless wifi is another aspect which is required as of today because anything i wanted to be here everywhere if i see anybody in the uh, going to the train or in the road sometimes also we can see which is very uh, which is not a safety as well that people are looking in the mobile so connectivity is the aspect and the seamless wifi is aspect is required station to the train and train to the station that has to be seamless how do you do basically this kind of high bandwidth wireless backhaul from the train to track communication obviously within the train and the station wifi is there but only thing is that how it will be connected edge data data analytics is another aspect i have talked upon edge data analytics inside the train itself is one aspect we should think about another is that automation in the network so this is a large network is coming up the way complexity is coming up so automation is necessary so that only we can do lot of provisioning and the aspect inside that another is that converged multi service network architecture i have shown you the ipmpls backhaul that so many services are running inside in air planning to running and in fact we are doing the de deployment in swr as well southwestern railway in a single network so this is possible through a converged multi service network architecture which is basically through the ipmpls backhaul segment routing in built inside that and any network means there should be a security so any connect anything is connected that has to be protected so anything connected means th that required the inbuilt security as well as the end to end security so end to end security means a lot of things we do like traffic segmentation and other thing but we talk about the zero trust network access anything coming into the network any user any device do not trust at all it should be the zero trust any kind of connectivity is required i need a authentication first to come into my network so zero trust network architecture is one of the thing for any kind of workload workforce or any kind of my yeah, office network and obviously in addition to that these are the all things what are the solution we can provide what are the basically solution we have in terms of the product and solution but everything is there but if it is not validated and if it is not guaranteed then there is a problem because i made the product but i should be give you the some kind of validated design aspect on that so we have the cisco validated design documentation what i talked about this connected train scenario connected track side as well as the connected station everywhere we have the kind of cisco validated design document from there so and we believe on the partnership organization partnership approach so basically modular approach through our partner we deploy as well as the cisco have their our own services and as well as to do the easy deployment so because it can be scalable in that case 
I believe I have touched most of the things. And I don't know what is. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you.